In this video, I want to go through township papers in the District of Niagara in Lincoln County. Niagara District used to cons consist of two counties, Welland County and Lincoln County, and I'm going to go through Lincoln County in this video. I'm going to start by pulling up the Tremaine map of the Niagara District. So I'm just going to type Tremaine map and Niagara. And this actually takes us to the Brock University website, Tremaine's map of the counties of Lincoln and Welland. I'm just going to open that and it will take me to the map. It'll take a second to show up here. And this is the map here. I'm not going to download it. I've got it on my screen already. And this is the Niagara region Tremaine map. Um, just a quick history of the Niagara region. On the north, we have Lake Ontario. On the south, we have Lake Erie. And the Tremaine map marks all of the different townships in the District of Niagara. So we've got Grimsby, Clinton, Louth, Grantham, Niagara, Stamford, Thorold, Willoughby, Crowlin, Birdie, which is down here, Humberstone, Wainfleet, Gainsborough, Easter, I think I covered them all, um, Pelham, and Thorold, so I forgot a couple. So it does cover all the maps, or sorry, all the townships in the district of Niagara. Next, I'm going to go to the Ontario Archives. And I'm going to pull up the patent plans. So if I go to the website in the archives, just show you how to get to these patent plans in the search. I'm just going to type in patent plan hit the enter key. I'm going to go to the first link here and I'm going to search the archives of Ontario's visual database. And from there, I'm going to type in the township that I want. So if I want the township of Caster, I'm going to type that in. And this is the patent plan here. Again, I won't download it. I've got it already on my laptop. So I'm just going to pull that up. And these are the old maps of when the land grants were given to the people that applied for them. And you can see that they're a well-used map. People have come along in later years and added information to it. Some of them are very difficult to read. This is one of the the more difficult ones to read. There's markings all over. I also downloaded the patent plan for the town of Niagara. Um, it was known as Newark, N-E-W-A-R-K, currently Niagara on the Lake. Um, and you can look at some of these streets and these streets still exist there today. We've got Queen Street, Johnson Street. Over here, we've got King Street. These are all streets that exist today. So I'm just going to keep those maps ready because I'm going to go through the township papers. And to you to go through the township papers, I'm going to use Family Search. You will have to create an account if you haven't done so already. It's free, um, but Family Search is great. Um, everything is free to use on Family Search and they do have a lot of records there. I'm going to use the catalog. So I'm going to go to search. I'm going to go to catalog. And under place, now family search, you have to um, enter it with the, the country first and then the province. And I'm just going to leave it as the uh, province. I'm not going to take it any further because the township papers are province wide. So I don't want to limit my search to a specific county or township because it probably won't bring up the township papers. And I'll just show you in a second. So if I just leave it as province wide, I'll do Canada, Ontario, I'll go to search. 
and I'm going to go to land records and there's a bunch of land records here. I know it's on this first one, but feel free to look through all of these other ones if you wish. So I'm going to go to land and property and I'm going to scroll down to the township papers. There's two of them here. Um, they're out. They're sort of alphabetic. This is the first part of the alphabet. This is the second part of the alphabet. I'm going to start with Kester Township, so it's probably going to be in the first part here. So I'm just going to open this up. And we have a whole bunch of um, townships listed here. So they have put these townships in and initially they're sort of sort of alphabetical, but they kind of they go A, B, C, and then they go back to A, B, C again. So you do have to do a little bit of looking. And um, just going to scroll down. I'm looking for Kester here. So I'm just going to go to the next one. And uh, like I said, a little bit of searching needs to, needs to be done here. It's not quite as obvious. It's not, um, yep, so there's Kester. And uh, just so, so you know, 1-1, um, one one, the first one refers to the lot. The second one refers to the concession. So this would be lot one, concession one. And these would be lot 17 to 21, concession 7. Let's just take a quick look at the Tremaine map. And I'm looking at Kester here. So I'm just going to zoom in here. So Kester on the side here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the concessions. So Kester has 7 concessions. And if we scroll across here, across these numbers, these are the lots. So this is four, five, six. And if we scroll over, we get to 21. So Kester goes up to concession seven, lot 21. Let's just go back to the township papers here. And that's what it says. It starts at lot one, concession one, and it goes to lot 17 to 21, concession seven. So let's open up this film. The township papers are not indexed. It is easier if you know the lot in concession. You do need to know the township. If you don't know the lot in concession um, and you are looking for something, you might find some information in these township papers and you probably would have to scroll through the whole township. I had to do that for the township of Clinton. I was looking for something and I didn't know where my ancestor lived. So I actually scrolled through the entire um, microfilm of the township of Clinton. So that's a possibility too. So let's just take a look at, I usually start at the first page here, so it says real township papers. So I'm going to start here. I just want to see what this says. So record group one township papers and the township papers existed from about 1783 to the 1870s. And it, there's a little blurb here that, that you can read. Uh, I want to point something out to you. Back before 1791, Niagara was in the province of Quebec, and it was called the District of Nassau. So you might see that on some of the records here in the older, uh, sorry, in the township papers, some of the older records in the township papers. So let's just go back to the um, thumbnails here. And here we are in the township of Burgess. I don't want that. I want the township of Kester. So I'm going to maybe try page 100. Still the township of Burgess. I'm going to try page 200. And this is what, because they're, they're not indexed and it doesn't really tell you where anything is, um, you kind of have to flip through these. So I usually do 100 pages at a time. And then when I get closer, I, I, I might go down to 50 pages at a time. So I've worked on this one. Um, and I know that Kester starts on page 690 because I've been through this um, folder before, or this microfilm. So this is Kester Lot 1 Concession 1. Let's just go to the previous page. I just want to see what it says. And the previous page is the village of Burritts Rapids. Okay, so I definitely want to start on page 690. And they do follow a sequence. Um, they, will, they will be listed 
for the most part, the first concession is first, and then within the first concession, they'll do lot one, then they'll do the first concession lot two, the first concession lot three, and then they'll go to this and so on, and then they'll go to the second concession lot one, the con second concession lot two. And not all lots and concessions will be listed here because they didn't always have to write something in the township papers. So you might not find anything in here, but you might. It's, it's a good resource if you are looking for some extra land records. I just want to, um, let me just go through a couple more here just to show you. Um, this is David Palmer Utter. I'm not sure what the situation is here, but the, there'll be a little document that comes up. And um, again, this is um, lot number one, first concession. Um, and sometimes they write it like this, and sometimes they write it as lot one, concession one with the number um, in Caster. It depends how it's written. It can be written various uh, in various ways. So it talks a little bit about, about the land. There was some reason they had to write something in the township papers here. So again, we've got lot one, concession one. If I go to page, let's go to page 750. I'm just picking that at random. I'm just going to go to page 750. And this one is, um, this one's very difficult to read, talks about the township of Keister. Let's just go to the next page and see if we can get something that's a little bit easier to read. And here we are, lot 15, concession one. So we're still in concession one, but we've moved up to the lot 15 and they're talking about the east one half of lot 15. So it does follow a sequence. I want to go to page 1202 just because there's an interesting comment on there. Let's go to page 1202. It is recommended that the patent issue to Solomon Wardle for the said land on payment at the rate of 40 cents per acre. This is what caught my eye. I, I just, I happened to find this one when I was scrolling through and I thought it was kind of interesting. I can't imagine 40 cents per acre. And then the rest of Caster follows through to the end of the film. So that is the township of Caster. I'm going to do the town of Niagara next. The town of Niagara is a little bit different. So I'm just going to go back to here. And let's just go to the end here. Let's go to page four on here. And it looks like it only goes to H. So if you recall at the very, very beginning there, we had two links to township papers. And I opened this one because I was looking for Caster, but Niagara is probably going to be in the second one because this one only went up to H. So let's open this one here and let's just see what we have. It starts at H. I'm looking for Niagara. And there was a township of Niagara and there was a town of Niagara. The township of Niagara follows the same sequence as the township of Caster with the lots and concessions, but the town of Niagara is a little bit different. So I just want to go through that one. So I'm looking here on Niagara. So we've got Niagara Town and we've got Niagara Township. So let's go to Niagara Town, various lots, town of Newark. Let's open this one up. And I want to just again, let's start at the beginning. I'm not sure what all this is. Okay, and this is the same little blurb about the township papers. So let's just go back to the thumbnails again. Let's open this, let's open this up. And we will just take a, a look, make sure that we're in. Oh, here we're in the township of Nepean. So again, I have to scroll further in to get to the town of Niagara. And because I've done this before, I know the town of Niagara starts on page 691. So this is the town of Niagara. I'm just gonna go 
a little bit further into here. I usually like to look to see what we have, descriptions of various lots, town of Newark, okay, used to be called Newark. And here it's just talking about lot number, okay? So, and that's the difference with the town of Niagara. The town of Niagara is just lots. Um, it doesn't have lots and concessions. So it's a little bit different, but I want to go through another example um, with the town of Niagara. But I'm going to get that off the next film. But before we leave this film, I just want to show you something I had told you before about Niagara being in the province of Quebec. And this is um, the district of, it says, late Nassau, okay. Um, not sure when this was written, but it does say Nassau in the province of Quebec, okay. And this was just um, some information, okay, in the town of Newark, the district of late Nassau, okay. Um, so just beware if you see the province of Quebec. Um, it really and truly could be what we now call Ontario. It was called the province of Quebec. So just wanted to point that out to you. And I'm going to go back to this film here. And I think we were on page three. And I, uh, I want Niagara Town. So I had just opened this one. But this one, it started on page 690. And it went to the end of the film and it continues on the next film so i'm going to open up this film here and again let's just see what we're dealing with here oh, i don't want that one and again we got that little blurb about the township papers i think they put it at the beginning of every film i just want to make sure that we are in okay we're in niagara town we are in, and that was just the continue, um, a, a new film continued from the last film. But I want to go to page 827 in the town of Niagara. I just want to show you how this relates to the land patent. And here, I'm sorry, I want page 861. My apologies, wrong one. And here we have lot 101, it says James Russell. Let's take a look at that land patent. So this is the land patent here. And if I just zoom in on this, these are the lot numbers across the bottom. So basically, this one had four lots um, between, okay, there's a lot here, a lot here, a lot here, and a lot here. So we've got lot, um, that's 142. I think that's lot 112. I, it's a little bit difficult to read. And these are old maps from a long time ago. So if you recall, um, lot 101, if I just go back to what I had here, lot 101, James Russell, lot 101, James Russell. So the patent plan agrees with the township papers in that James Russell had lot 101. Going back to family search and let's just go back to one more. So Niagara Town started on this film, continued on this film, and continues again onto another film. And then it, um, let's just take a look at this one. This is another film and this one continued. This is still the, the town of Niagara. Let's just pull something up here and we will look at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't say anything there. Usually we get a little 
Okay, so town of Niagara and the town of Niagara continued, ends at page 274. And the township of Niagara starts on page 276. So as we go to page 274, we're still the town of Niagara. 275 is just uh, an, um, the end of the reel. And page 276 starts with, this is really difficult to see, and some of these are difficult to see, it starts with the township of Niagara. So if we go to 277, hopefully, yeah, this one is much easier to read. We are on 277. Now the township of Niagara will deal with lots and concessions. And you can see we've got concession one to seven, I think it means, I'm not quite sure what that means, but let's see. So we got concession one, lot 23. So we're dealing with lots and concessions here. And it says township number one. At, at, at one time, the townships were numbered in the Newark or Niagara. The township of Niagara was township number one. So if we continue on through the township of Niagara, let's go to page 900. I'm just picking this at random. See if we're still in the township of Niagara. And we are, in this film actually, uh, the township of Niagara continues to the end of this film and then continues on to the next film. Page three here. So we just had this one up and now we will, no, we just had this one up, sorry, and we will bring up this one. And we just start at the beginning here, just make sure that we're in the township of, yep, township of Niagara district. Okay, so this one has district of Niagara, but that's okay. Um, it's later, that's because it's in later years. It looks like it's 1843. And the town, the Niagara Township or Township of Niagara ends on page 149. So these townships could be spread over more than one film. So you'll need to go through these indexes and take a look at them. Um, they've got all the townships listed here. I think they're all listed. There might be the odd occasion where there might be a township at the beginning and a township at the end, and they might not all be listed. Uh, I don't think that is the case, but just be aware that it could be. Let's just go back to the first one again, because I wanted to go back and show you. Um, let's just take a moment. I'm looking for, for Gainsborough here. I'm not going to go through it. I'm just looking for Gainsborough. I think it's on the last page. So Gainsborough, okay, so here Gainsborough starts on this film but continues to this film. And if we were looking for the township of Galway, it would be in between the township of Gainsborough and the town, the town of Gananoque. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. And the other townships that I didn't go through in Lincoln County are very, you would use the same approach as you would for the township of Caister and the township of Niagara. The only one that's really different here is the town of Niagara. So hopefully that helps you work through the township papers and gives you access to a little bit more as far as land records go.